Welcome to Westminster after a momentous 24 hours. An astonishing election victory for the Conservatives and resignations for the leaders of Labour, the Liberal Democrats and UKIP. As he returns to Downing Street for another five years, David Cameron pledges to lead a one-nation government. I truly believe we're on the brink of something special in our country. We can make Britain a place where a good life is in reach for everyone who is willing to work and do the right thing. Ed Miliband steps down after a difficult and disappointing night for Labour. I take absolute and total responsibility for the result and our defeat at this election. Nick Clegg stands down as Lib Dem leader saying the results were immeasurably more crushing than he could ever imagine. Nigel Farage resigns as UKIP leader after failing to win the seat of Thanet South, insisting he's never been happier. And the Scottish surge. Nicola Sturgeon's SNP takes 56 out of 59 seats. This is ITV News at 6.30 with Alistair Stewart and Mary Nightingale. A good evening from Downing Street where David Cameron is back behind his prime ministerial desk tonight after one of the most astonishing election victories in living memory. Mr Cameron confounded every pre-election poll to win a slim but crucial majority, enough for him to form the next government without the help of any other party. Here at Westminster, the bloodbath of big names claim the scalps of three party leaders. First, Nick Clegg resigned, then Nigel Farage, and within a couple of hours, Ed Miliband had announced he was stepping down as Labour leader. So 